quite excited to see what he's got. It'd be funny if it's 13 pounds. Filming. You filming landscape? Oh, f it, yeah. God save. <laughs> save. <laughs> So this is fish number 11. I've just had him from down in the bay. I was fishing earlier against the weed bed, but um, I'd had nothing. So I took my chance of fishing against the reeds. Within 10 minutes, this little guy ripped off. A lovely 18 pound mirror from here at Lea Vajon. I'm gonna assume he's probably a stocky, but he is gorgeous nonetheless. And I'm chuffed because it brings my sight up to 11. I'm gonna go 18, no I'm not, I'm no. gonna go, I'm gonna go 16, 12. No way Rick. 16, 18, 19 pound on the dot. Yes, <laughs> yes Jack. <laughs> it don't look that big. No. Do a talking bit Jack. No I'm not talking. Why not? That's it, he's done it. He's done his talking bit. I'm not, talk <laughs> I'm not talking. I don't know what to say. Okay, so I had five minutes spare. I managed to do this video while Jack's clearing up so I can get out of washing up. Um, but I thought I would just talk you through quickly the rigs that I've been using. Um, I haven't done this during the day just because 
we've been chilling and I've been having a few down the end. So I thought now it's evening, get the Ridgemonger lights on, do a little bit of talking, show you what sort of rigs we've been using because although our approach is very similar to what I would use in England, we've changed say one or two things just to kind of cater for the fish out here in France. So the rig that I have been having my most fish on is my very simple Monty rig. Um, I really like this rig. The pop-up I'm using here is a milky toffee from Mainline. I, I'm actually using my own homemade pop-ups but they're very oily and I didn't really want them to be dripping everywhere. So for the sakes of this I've just put on a, another pop-up that I have been using um, but I've had no lock on. However it just helps you see how the rig sits. So you've got very simple bridge monkey soft coated braid, size 4 ridge monkey curved shank hook. I've gone for fours which I wouldn't normally use in England purely because the um, the fish's mouths out here are just huge. Um, so if you are coming to fish of Asia on size fours are definitely I would recommend a must because the mouths are just massive. You could probably get away with a six or an, um, yeah, a year six but I think a four just for the fish out here is definitely worth having. Um, and then just a hook ring swivel to feed a pop up and it's literally as simple as that and in the water it just sits so that the, the putty's on the bottom and the hook just above it and yeah that has been a bite and that has been for on my baited spot in my swim and I've had my 28 and my 29 on this rig um, so I've been calling this my big fish rigs. all of my bigger fish have come on this rig so yeah chuffed with this one and then I've also been using this little rig for a solid bag um, this is called, I'd say, most of my fish on this trip. Not the bigger ones, but this has been perfect for literally chuffing either the solid bag on or even just a little bag of pellet on the hook. If we see a fish and we want to cast it, just a bag of pellet and it's been perfect every time. Um, I've been using yellow and white dumbbells. We found the fish in this lake have been coming on yellow or white baits. Jack's been using yellow, little yellow pop-ups, and he's been catching. And I've been using washed out yellow slash white and a white dumbbell down on the other rod and be catching no other colours we've seen to call catch on so I think yellow and white are definitely the colours to go for in here this rig is really simple as well with a Ridge Monkey QC inline swivel these are really good swivels they basically just help the lead to drop um, so you, it, the swivel basically goes in the end of the lead your tower bite on the actual lead core and then the lead can drop. The reason we're dropping lead in here is because it is weedy and the fish tend to go straight to their weed beds. You're fishing up against weed beds to catch them. So just dropping that lead if the weed does if the fish does get weeded up helps. Um and yeah again Ridge Monkey Braid. Really love the Ridge Monkey Braid for this particular rig. Um it's brilliant. And again a size four curved shank hook. I've already explained why I'm using fours, big fish, big mouths. And yeah, a dumbbell, because in a solid bag, they're kind of my go-to, a little dumbbell. You don't have to try and balance it out, because they're slow sinking bottom baits. So you don't have to try and balance out the rig, so it makes the rig really simple within the bag. This is probably a little bit longer than I would normally fish for a bag rig. Um, but it's been working absolutely fine. So yeah, just a little bag for the mainline pellet and the uh, mainline stick mix. Been catching quite a few fish, this has. So yeah, really happy with my rig choice. Um, we've kind of just kept things simple because we're coming out to a lake that the fish haven't been fished for, other than the bailiff. Um, so John and Ben fishing, the fish have not been fished for. So there's no point going all out mad with rigs when you're just fishing for bites really. And that's why solid bags were perfect on our first night because we were just fishing for bites. If you are coming out to this lake, big hooks, yellow and white baits seem to be what Jack and I have been catching on. And that's how simple my rigs are. I've not changed anything from England other than the hook size. So yeah, simple.
my new PV of 34.4. So 
tired and you were just out in the boat and then every time your head talked disappeared, we were like, where are they gone? Well, it was a fun journey back. We went to see Paris, we went to see... <laughs> You don't know anywhere else in France, do you? You're in Paris. Disneyland. That's in Paris. We went to Disneyland and then we went to somewhere else.